Yeah, so Mexico was produ- produced by Contraband. Uh, this is one I did, did not do any production on. Uh, but the track itself, it's kind of interesting. You know, I, I wrote it over a long period of time, which with most songs, I don't really do that. Uh, I think I wrote it over about an eight-month period. So that's, for me, really long. Usually I'll sit down and I'll record a song, usually in one day if I'm, if I'm, if I'm you know, in the studio the whole day. Uh, but, you know, I started writing it when I was actually in Mexico. Uh, so that's that was a part of the inspiration. One of my favorite places on earth is Cancun, uh, and, and I started writing it while I was there. Got went back home, got to LA, added a little bit to it, started working on the hook, and it all just really started coming together. And around I want to say February or March, I was all wrapped up. I was good. The song was ready to go. And then everything that was happening with COVID was happening, and I, and I started questioning. You know, is this the right time to release this? Should we wait? You know, this is more of a party song maybe wait till this thing clears up and then i realized this may take a really long time to clear up so maybe instead of waiting for things to clear up maybe release the song and give people an escape from you know being stuck at home like we are now and you know give them a little a little glimpse into being outside and partying and being being on the beach and jet skiing and so forth um so at the end you know it turned out to be a really fun track like I said, we're working on a video where we're really getting creative with it uh, and not necessarily shooting one huge, big party scene like we want to. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been a fun song to, to record, to hopefully, like you said, one day perform as well. Um, you know, maybe 2021, we get to get out and, and perform it. I don't know if it's going to happen this year, but, you know, fingers crossed. <laughs> this year, this year has got a lot. I mean, I got a lot in store for this year. Um, I got another single coming out called Bubble Wrap, and I don't want to give away too much about it. Um, I think a lot a lot of fans are going to like that one. Again, going back to the versatility uh, point, it shows a little bit of versatility because it's not necessarily a party song, um, but I, I think a lot, a lot of the fans will like it. Um, we're also working on Benny Raps episodes, uh, which we'll be releasing every couple weeks or so. They're more along the lines, it's not really a full song, more along the lines of, of a verse or you know a, an elongated verse in a sense going into you know what's going on in the world going into what i'm seeing on a day-to-day and, and things that just kind of come top of mind when i sit down and, and I, I i normally would say put pen to paper but in a sense you know start typing away sometimes or, or getting notes on my phone uh and, and i'm having a lot of fun with the, with the benny raps episode so far uh, i think the first one should be ready early September and then bubble wrap. You can expect that in September as well. So we'll have a lot of content coming out here soon. And so it, it's really interesting because I've done both. I've, I've, I've had studio sessions that felt like a big party and I've had studio sessions where it was me and the engineer and that's it. Uh, and I think over time, I don't know if there's one moment that really stands out for me, uh, but I'd say over time learning that the party scene while recording is fun and and a lot i've created a lot you know a lot of really good music in that moment and gotten the inspiration from the moment but i feel like you know if i had to do you know one versus the other i feel like i've accomplished more when it was kind of a slower setting like you said a more intimate setting um versus a huge party in the studio that's not really even an option right now <laughs> when i go into the studio now it's it's very limited as far as who we can bring in there uh, but in general, you know, that's, that's, I feel like I've been more successful with some of the more low key studio sessions versus the party studio sessions. I enjoy, enjoy both, but you know, if we're talking about, you know, production standpoint and maybe cranking out two, three songs in an eight hour block, uh, definitely can't do that when you're having a party in the studio. You'd be lucky to get one song done. <laughs>